Howdy, welcome back, welcome back. How are you doing? You having fun so far? No, uh, don't worry, we just started. It's still the breakfast show on R2 TV. Miles, the eight one of the words they have. Evalina. Why are, your, why are your eyes glittering? You want to explain something to us? <laughs> why? I don't <laughs> care, like, is there something to <laughs> Never mind. Explain. So we have our very first sit down today and, okay, um, let me see, let me count all the things. The guy used to be a musician, a uh, designer, a comedian. He makes people laugh for a living. That's what he does now. Sorry. Uh, Okay, sorry, I was, I was going to ask, like, he used to be a musician, comedian, designer, or he used to be a musician. Come on, did you observe the command in my voice? Me, musician? <laughs> Are you guys married? Okay. No, are we what? Is that time for you to yes, yes. <laughs> okay. okay, cool. And he's also a designer. Well, I, his name sounds like, yeah. Ugo! Not boss, no. Ugo boss in the building. <laughs> What's going on, man? I'm good. I'm good. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. Welcome, 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 welcome. I do not shake guys, do. though, but today you is hug just... Guys, right? Yeah, I, I, guys. I can do that right now. But no, don't okay. worry. It's fine. It's, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> so we have this amazing comedian in the house. How are you doing, I'm sir? doing very good, my brother. Uh -huh. So yeah. the first time when I knew him, yeah. this guy used to sing. Right. So I don't know what happened from the, being a mus uh, musician to being a comedian. You so don't make come. Yeah, my sister. <laughs> my sister. So let's start with that. The obvious he's a part of a, a, he's a part of a group called the Natural. Natural. Yeah? So let's Natural. talk about that. Yeah, they, you know, I've, I've had the arts in me, you know, for a long time, and I I read engineering from there. I went to I was in the same class, uh, civil engineering with Princess back then, and then oh. she was moving and she told me Hugo Bros, let's go to creative arts, and I told her no, I'll die in engineering, <laughs> and yeah, I did nearly die, you know. <laughs> And so I went to um, actual science because it was easier for me. Okay. I knew mathematics, but I knew when I finished, I would, when I finish, I would become an art person, art inclined person, because I was in a theater group and so on. Then I finished my NYC and I decided, that, hey, I need to be an entrepreneur. And what else could I do apart from selling pepe and becoming a boxer or mm. something? And then I started music, you know, I had a group, we started doing music. I, I started that for long, but then I took that. And that group you know, was doing very good. Very, very good, very yeah. well. But the problem is this, and that's the problem right now with musicians. You go ahead and spend a lot of money in music. That's the problem with the industry. And then you're not recouping stuff. You see these guys, they're looking very good, mm -hmm. looking handsome, dreads and so on, but hey. Where the money? And so I realized I am growing, my brother. <laughs> you understand? Mm. Age no did I can't be doing hip hop at the age of 30. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, hip hop. <laughs> <laughs> and my mates are there in the bank as well. So, hey, what's the next thing to do? I decided to be an MC and a comedian with a difference, really. Not just coming on stage and speaking pigeon or so, but you know. Yeah. And so that's how I started this career. Of okay. being an MC and a comedian. You know, a lot of people, before they become comedians, they actually have people who tell them that, okay, you're quite funny, yeah. you should go into this. For you, you did not think you were funny, no, you I've, just... I've busted. always been very funny. I just didn't okay. think it would be a profession. Mm. I've even been doing MB, I've been emceeing stuff, you know, when I was in secondary school. Okay, so you, did the, yeah. so you think there's an age limit to um, music, music, but there's no age limit to co comedy? Actually, I think so. Like, ah. yeah, yeah, if you're struggling for the music, if you're doing in Nigeria, I do not. Oh, yes, you know, yeah. hold that thought. I like, I like, I like where this is. Uh, going. Yeah, let's, let's do that. Yeah. Hold that thought. <laughs> While you're holding that thought, let's open the phone line. Now, if you want to be part of the show, you can actually call in on 070-00-00-R2TV. Once more, 070 00 R2TV. Call in and let's just trash this. We might not even talk about your career today. We are, we are going to. <laughs> Because she has started a serial, serial questionnaire like that. Right. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Back to it. Back yeah. to, do you yeah. think okay. there's an age limit? Do you think there's an age limit? I think maybe if you're doing hip-hop, you don't want to go the, yo, yo, yeah, hip -hop, I was doing hip-hop. Yeah. Okay, so that's I was, doing, I was a rapper. Yeah, we know. Okay. I can rap you. I mean, I can hey. rap for you. Sorry. I mean, rap. I can rap. Okay, you can rap me. <laughs> no, I can. <laughs> oh. But I was, I was, I was doing hip-hop. And when I get there, maybe to interviews, I make them laugh and... I haven't seen the talent of making people laugh and presenting mm. stuff. I get mm. to somewhere and I want to take over the event, okay. you know. So it's natural with me. Music was good. It was natural with me too. I could That's get... That's why they called you guys the naturals. Yeah. Naturals, yeah. yeah. I could get an idea and do stuff. But the problem is this. I, I started at an early age, but it wasn't working for a long time. And okay. if it's not working for you, 
you need to see. Load. Give yourself the, a break. The truth is, it's good to struggle at a point, but look for some other talent and I, I, give yourself some sense. I think you thought it would never work. No. Because, uh, you know, you, you know, it's... it's I'm a, going back it's, to it, no, and I'll tell you when I do. It's a known thing that if you really want something and you know it's going to work, you just have to keep at it. You didn't wait so That's long. the same thing I felt, did with comedy you felt, and MC. Yeah. I've, been, I've, I've been doing that for long, and I had trying times. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, I think this is it. I think that you need a platform to rise first and explore your other talents. Okay, so you, music you, was so music was not the one to rise with force for me. Okay. This this was it. So then with this people know you a bit, you gather mm -hmm. some fonts, then you can go go into music. Imagine you singing right now and you're everywhere and then you're not eating at home, you're looking scruffy and you're coming for an interview or you're going for it. They won't respect you. Mm -hmm. And you, you get, you can't, you, go, you won't even have stuff to wear for the hip hop you want to do. The hip hop you want to do, yo. Yeah. <laughs> now, if, I, if I leave you guys, she will keep going out because she's not satisfied. She just she just told me satisfied. She's not satisfied with your answer. It's okay. But let's, not, let's leave music aside. Let's yeah. talk about comedy now. Yeah. Now, you've left music for like how many years now? Nine years now? Nine years or so. Okay, yeah. cool. So, comedy? I didn't leave it. I just. You see, okay. I've just been doing it a little bit. I'll leave you behind again. I'm sorry, my brother. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Keep okay, right, please. now, <laughs> let's talk about comedy. Now, yeah. how has comedy been treating you? How has the industry been treating you? Excellent. Possibly? I think I have more passion for comedy and emceeing than music. That's okay. number one. Okay. And that, I go back to what you were saying. If you love something, you just keep at it. Um, comedy is more creative for me. Emceeing is more creative for me. And so it's like a business. Then that's, that's why I like it. If, you're, if you are funny and you have what it takes, and you know you have a talent and you can build on yourself. You can start a business with comedy. And it's not just about comedy. You could MC, you could be a presenter, you could do talks. Mm. Yeah. And that's the same thing with music. But then for me, I think it's more diverse for me. Okay, yeah, and MC, you know, could be a, that's true. You, ha you also have a, a TV show. You yeah, have, I do have a TV show. Talk, tell us about that. Yeah, cool. And you know, start comedy and I, I observed that, hey, I only go out on Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays to do stuff. What? Mondays to Thursdays at my home. I can't be that idle. You know, you need to keep the brain moving and you need to keep your mom moving too. And so I sought out a TV show to start um, presenting. Mm. And I go on. Is it, is it, is it, is it comedy based? Is it, is it, it is an entertainment based, but laced with comedy. Entertainment uh. based program, but laced with comedy. We play music, invite artists, talk to them, and Listen with comedy. The music has shown this okay. guy. Yeah. Okay, do you know what? I want to ask, have you ever put together a, um, a concert or a program, like, yeah. okay, your own comedy? Um, like the AY Live? Yeah. AY Live. Uh, uh, we, well, I have. I, I teamed up with Deja Vu. He's a friend of mine. He's a comedian. Yeah. Oh, okay. And we had some things in the Keja, that um, computer village. It's been running concurrently for three years right now. Every Christmas. It's called the Triple X. Oh, that's nice. Blast. And it's cool. We... I can't mention the name of the telecoms company, okay. but we are in affiliation with them. Okay, you said you yeah. okay. You usually work with someone on it. Yeah, like, we we are together. We do. Like, now yeah. I want to ask a question. You said um, in the industry is really good. Comedy is, is treating you well and all. Yeah. 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 Okay. Do you think that you are strong enough to put together? Because right now in the industry, a lot of uh, musical artists are holding and uh, putting together individual concerts and yeah. all of that. Yeah. Do you think you can get a large number of people come listen to you like? Okay, you, they know that you're the one, you're the one um, performing. Do you think that people would want to come, listen to you? Okay. You can get that a very large number. Life is in stages. Men are in sizes. Okay. All right? And so you do your power per time. Okay? When you know the time is right, you do it. You hit it. If you don't do it at the right time, you fail. And that, that um, discourages you. Okay? So you do what you can to, if, if, it's, if you can face the Keja for now, Okay. Do it. Good. If you can face Lagos for now, do it. If you can face Nigeria, if you can face a cool hotel for now. You, you know, a comedian might just go to a cool hotel and just book the whole stuff, start advertisement, and people might not just come. But you have mm. to build yourself. You understand? I can't right now start going to, I can't go to Basket Mount and say, hey, I'll beat you at your stuff. It's not possible. Yeah. You know, so you grow per time, you hold your ground per time. And that is why people like laugh up in Ibadan. Ibadan is his place. He's holding it down. He's know, holding right? it down and then know, it grows right? from that platform, like growing from comedy to music. It grows from that, it grows from that platform and then it moves yes. on to other places. And that is how life is. Life is in 
faces men are in. Life is in stages, men are in sizes. Oh, okay, cool. You're so smart. Yeah. He's loyal, right? Yeah. But he wasn't loyal to music, though. Okay, now moving away from that, I'm, I'm still coming back for you. Yeah. Now, let's talk about when you see comedians here, yeah, you see them look all amazing. Yeah, this one, a comedian. They're just, they're just this funny thing about them. Is it, yeah. is, is it by the way that they sit or the laugh also? You know, you. Are different somehow. You look, you look like a businessman. You don't even, you don't even, you don't even yeah, look like a that. comedian. You just look like one banker. Like, let me ask Uncle Let me Uncle sell my market. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Uncle Bros, what makes you different? Why, would, like she said earlier, why would somebody like? Okay, I want to go listen to this guy. What makes me different? He looks too serious. He looks like a gentleman, right. proper. Yeah. He doesn't have any funny hat on. He doesn't yeah. have any funny haircuts. He just looks like a proper gentleman. Man, I'm blushing. You look, right. you look like, you look like a manager, you'll be, you'll be, businessman. You be, you be mad. You make me blush. Pretty apple. <laughs> Take time. <laughs> no, I don't check time for you. All right, this is it. You okay. find that that um, a lot of times people think comedians are jesters and look at EY. He's a serious business guy. You just can't call him somewhere and then expect he start joking. And he didn't pay him. Hmm. You know, so you learn from some people. Some people look funny. Yeah, that's their brand. Agodai looks funny. From that's his brand. Mm -hmm. You need to define your brand first of all. Yeah. You mm -hmm. know, and in defining your brand, you need to also be careful. You're a funny guy. So in conversations, try and tip it in, okay? Now, this is what I did. As much as I know that pigeon is good, yeah, I try to learn the ethics, the, the, the nitty gritties of English language. I tried my best to do that. But I also know that, hey, you can't just do all English. So sometimes you go pigeon, you do the Yoruba, you do the Igbo, right? So let me just tell you this. There was this professor in Unilag, actually, back then. He was too good with English. And I kept warning him, sir, he was in English the department. I said, sir. This English will put you in trouble one day. He said, no, leave me alone. And then they, he was sent to Ijebu sure. to teach, to lecture. And by the way, he was there, university. And while he was lecturing, you know, in the English class, I was there with him because I went with him. He said, hey, you go come around. And then he said something, you know, there. He said, who can give me another sentence for look before you leap? And people were raising up their hands. One guy raised up his hand and said, sir, it's, um, it's um, you know, precedence. He uh, it, it said, um, it said he said something, Sha. He said something. And then the guy clapped for him. Then he said, okay, who can tell me birds of the same feather flock together? Can somebody stand up and tell me what that is in another, you know, good English? And then somebody said, an ontological specimen of the same plumage congregating the same propinquity. And everybody clapped. She, she, And then he left there. And then while he was going, he saw his house burning in Ijebu. We don't speak English in Ijebu. So I go sure. to, for MC job and I mean Alaba and I start speaking very good English. It's wrong. Mm. And in Ijebu, he, his house was born. Instead of calling on them, Egbami or something, he started speaking good English. He said, Suko, Suko. Multitude, multitude. A great conflagration is consuming my domicile. Okay. It enrages with magnanimity. <laughs> it consumes it. with velocity. <laughs> suko, Suko. suko. Ah, <laughs> a woman was passing by and said, Kusuko, oh, I'm not <laughs> And then, when he got very bored, he started shouting, Hey, Bamike, he let me to do it. Hey, no. So that is when you know how to read your okay. audience, you know how to read people, and you know that the class of people I want to deal with are people that are, yeah, they might be local a bit, but they are mm. posh, tush. Because mm. it pays me for 10 people to pay me a millionaire each, mm. then, then 30 people pay me 10,000 naira each. So, you get what I'm saying? So I, no, I try to define my brand. I, 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 do, I, do, I do get what you're saying, Suka Suka. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay I, I've yeah. always wondered, um, for comedians, yeah, if you're a musical artist, you have to sit down and write your lyrics and yeah. all of that. For comedians, yeah. you sit down and say, um, so this man entered this house. Ah, oh, this thing go funny. Muka write him. Or, oh, you actually do that. You sit down to write. I respect some comedians I've learned from. Bovi is good. You okay. see Bovi with the jota all the time. Mm. I use my phone. And so while talking right now, you guys might just say something funny. You might not elaborate on it. And mm. then he goes home, he forms something. And so, you know, we do that a lot. And even before coming for a show or going out there to perform, we sit down and just imagine the show and get the kind of jokes we'll do on the show. Oh, yeah. That's okay. so cool. I think we just like, no, we, like, you we know. are creative. We are very creative. And it's, it's, I went for an animal. No, I went for in Lekki Preservative. Mm. I don't know what that, that is called, but there were some 16 years old there to do stuff. And while while they are there, they were they were. Uh, I started giving out my jokes, and one of them was not funny. They didn't laugh. Sure. What did I do? I just started all about animals. I started teaching them about animals. You don't have to be funny there. Be intelligent. Um, wow, and I had not I collected like, my money. I like. I like. Is, is there a limit to your jokes? Is there a limit? Yes. Like I, there are some things you can't joke about. I'm not raw. I'm not vulgar. Good. Because I need to maintain professionalism. Mm -hmm. 
I think I'm learning. I'm, I'm learning. learning. I'm, I, want to, I, want to, I might just, I might just change my profession. I just be ah, a comedian. Wakpe. Sorry, I said like wakpe. Wakpe, like yeah. I will tell you. You go tired. I will tell you. You tell you well. Try to become a comedian. <laughs> okay, cool. Now let's let, um, let's talk about uh, the comedy uh, the, uh, the comedy industry. Okay. In Nigeria. All right. Now, I've watched a lot of comedy shows outside Nigeria, and like one man can hold it down for hours and everybody will crack qu crack up from just alone without music performances without nothing it's comedy. just smooth yeah comedy but in nigeria sometimes like yeah we have to we have to infuse a lot of music performances dance uh, dance routines and we have to go do you understand you wonder why yeah please the same thing life is in faces men are in sizes it is not that a basketball cannot hold you down for hours hours no no or a, a new comedian cannot but the, the thing is this with their comedy show over there, overseas, you see a whole lot of lightings, mm. a whole lot of stage effects mm. that would even make you grow fond of the comedian. It's entertainment is just there everywhere. If he wants to talk about something, for example, there's a screen that will talk about it for him. You yes, get. Yes. He would just, and so he's, he has done his job. Technology has helped him. Sure. And a whole lot has helped him. There, there are like a hundred people back back there that are, that are helping him out, and he has a whole lot of companies supporting. How would you uh, you tell me right now that you'd give me a, a hundred thousand dollars to do stuff for two hours? Am I, am I crazy? You, you go laugh. <laughs> you go you go roll. And I'm, I phone you. We, it's, Sorry, it's not a it's, fight. It's, it's, you just, understand? Just, just kind of, okay, okay, before be, before we jet out of here, what's what's the worst thing that's happened to you in your career so far as okay. a comedian? All right, I, I, I love to say this. It was in 2010 or so, okay. and it was with a man, I, I, I can mention his name. Go it ahead. was with Ashafa. His name is Ashafa. Okay. He's a senator right now. Okay. And I was in their midst. I didn't really know him back then, but I was in their midst, and they were all posh and so on. So the greatest mistake is not to learn, not to study your audience. And so I thought because they were all looking posh, and so it was a ceremony where Yoruba people were filled, and a Yoruba artist just performed. So I... I cracked them up. I wanted to crack them up. And so I was doing too much plain English. Mm. Funny jokes, but too much plain English. And they were not laughing. One woman was even looking at me and saying, do that. <laughs> Just do and go. <laughs> Just do and go. <laughs> Say the next one, don't worry. Are you done? Shy. You know? And so it, it's not bad that I'm saying this out mm -hmm. here, but that was 2010. I'd never made such a mistake again. So you've, you've mm -hmm. learned. Study your audience. Mm. Even if you're just one minute there and then you look at them, what kind of event is it? You know, do you need to speak very quince English or just English or just yeah. English. Or pigeon? Or do mm. you need to mix it? Do you need to sing first? Mm. Do you need to talk about family mm. or the government? Mm. So you need to be vast. Mm. You know, that was the major mistake I made in my career back then. Okay, now you need to talk to your audience and your fans out there. Let yeah. them have all your social media handles, how they can reach you right. and how they can, you know, if they will have any job for you. They sell yes. my kids. So, yeah, <laughs> tell them real quick. All right, my ATM pin is... Okay, sorry. Social media. Yeah. Right. I'm very sorry about that. All right. <laughs> Many people want to write that down right now. Okay. All right. You can go on Instagram and follow me. It's at MC underscore Hugo Bros. Hugo Bros is spelled H U G O B R O S. MC underscore Hugo Bros. And that, that's major. And if you go on Facebook, it's Ugo Chuku. Hugo Bros. One. I won't you go now. Let me tell you. Look at it. Hell, because I'm a call, keep it short like this. Wait. So it is a Hugo Bros. Ugotuku Wanujo. But go just go at MC underscore Hugo Bros on Instagram and hey, you you see. You, me you guys can continue your okay. Okay. Uh, So yes, while they're at that, the breakfast show still continues. Thank you so very much for being part of the show. And we'll be back in just a flash. Don't go nowhere. <laughs>